No, no, no. Don't give any predictions yet, man. <laughs> okay. All right. I hit the live button. I hit the live. We're good. All right. Let's uh, no, Nate, just go around the room for us quick. Uh, I'm Nate. Okay. I'm Brett. <laughs> Tobias. Tobias Jared. is coming from Switzerland. Yep. Jared's coming from uh, Florida today. And Matt Sates is coming. Where are you coming yes. from, Matt? Uh, from South Africa. Oh, shit, you should be coming from Abu Dhabi right now, man. You yeah. should be on the blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Missing you there, man. Mm. Yeah, happened? I'm pretty bummed. Give us, give us the inside scoop. When did you hear about it that you couldn't go? Was, uh, yeah, it was just because of um, travel bans, and it was too hard to to get to Abu Dhabi on time. How long ago did they give you the heads up that you had to you couldn't go? Um, I think it, it literally came to the yesterday. Because they were trying to get me on flights like oh. since since the last possible day. Oh wow. Yesterday. Shit. That's Did they nuts. not say anything about vaccines for you guys to go? Like I mean, I'm sure you guys are all vaccinated mm -hmm. up and everything, but Yeah, yeah, we, we were vaccinated, but I think it was just uh the, the actual flights leaving. There was no um flights wow. to go. Matt, uh, um, Nate, can you change the background and take my face off the background? It's just, just some reason it's annoying me. <laughs> Get it off. Let's go. Oh, that's better. All right, Matt, uh, we, we're, we're straight up here. We've got the men's 400 free. You should be in this final here contending. Yeah. Uh, what, what's your pick here? What are you thinking? Uh, I, I got Dennis. Dennis Rapsy. Rapsy. Why? Uh, I, I, I've raced against them quite a lot during the World Cup. And I know, I know he's in for a, for for a good race this one, especially. So I'm hoping I'm hoping he'll pull through. All right, Raps. What about what about Kieran Smith, man? He's a, he's a dog. He's a fighter. Oh yeah, he is. But uh, I I just say I just say Rapsy because because I know him also. So right. hopefully, I think if I have to see someone to win, I I, I hope it's him. Okay. No, you what about, about uh, well, yeah, what you about? Know. What about half now? We missing out. Yeah, that's a big surprise. I mean, champ. Huh? Yep, and Tom Dean. Mm. I know Tom took ten weeks off. I mean, we talked to him on the show, but um, I don't know what Ahmed's doing. He's showing him on the Olympic Channel right now. Oh, dude, we're yeah. walking out. We're behind the blocks already. Look at this. It's dark. It's it's uh. Oh, here Brett, you go. Brett's always in the front. Brett, you're, you might need to do a pause, bud. Oh, am I in the lead here? Are you, are you yeah. streaming or are you cable? I'm cable. I'm, I'm cable. I'm YouTube TV. Oh, I got. I just got on the app. Yeah, Brett, you're like 15 seconds in front of me. All right, Matt, where are you? Are you watching this, Matt? Uh, no. Oh, you're not watching? Okay, we're gonna have to. I'm talk. gonna. Uh, it's just loading on the TV now. Oh, South Africa. Okay. What about Tobias? What do you got? Well, they're walking in, and there's number. Six now, lane six, walking in right now. How am I ahead of you guys? Like I've got the best. I got the uh, pop off. Must uh, be the van. Delaware the internet man at the back of Delaware. I'm on the blocks, boys. I don't know. I'm gonna chill out. Okay, I'll chill out. All right, here we go. Lane one. We got Mestre from Stanford. Well, I guess he's not at Stanford anymore. Florida. I don't know where he is. Gator Swim Club, maybe. Florida. Max Litchfield, Antonio Djokovic. So how you pronounce it, Tobias? Djokovic, yeah. He's from Croatia originally. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh, in lane four, top seed, Felix Albach. Uh, Karen Smith, lane five, Luke Kroon, who's been swimming great in the ISL. Uh, we're in the water, by the oh, way. We're, we're in the uh, water. Dennis Raps is in, in lane me. seven, and Marco Dutulio from Italy in lane eight. The racing. Tight little field this morning. You got it had to be under sub, you know, sub three forty to make it back top eight. So, Matt, uh, turn your sound on real quick. What's your prediction for the winning time, Matt? Uh, yeah, I, I think it'll be around uh, the three thirty six mark, three thirty five. Three thirty five, three thirty six. What do you think you had in you if you had been on this block right now? Uh, I, I think I could have got close to close to that. <sighs> I think I could have. Time trial, uh, Matt. Come on. Uh, yeah, I think the goal is to get three thirty-six at yeah. the end of the year. How many so events were you? Really how many events were you um, supposed to swim, Matt? Um, I was in the the four hundred free, 
uh, turn iron first day, and then the turn it free hundred iron, four hundred iron. So five events. Yeah, five events. Oh, did you tell the guys like? Did you petition them like, guys, um, you know, some paychecks out there at this swim me, you could just maybe just let me out of here. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. No. We, we we tried everything, and and Fina was Fina was pushing also big spats. Crazy. Yeah, it just didn't happen. So the restriction was coming from Abu Dhabi themselves, or was it coming from South Africa? Um, I guess I guess also Abu Dhabi was not allowing allowing visas and everything. Oh, okay. To right. get yeah, there. You, uh, Michael Andrew, they refused to serve him breakfast this morning in the hotel. <laughs> you kidding? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he just put put it out a, a brand new vlog first time. But I mean, and, he doesn't uh, even have a vaccine. Matt Matt has a vaccine, you know, like. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. All right, here we go at the two hundred. Felix Albach is Albach. in the lead. Albach. Yeah, he's Albach's throwing down. Where is he training these days? I know he was what was he at Michigan? He was a Michigan boy. Yep. Where is he now? Is he back in Austria? Tobias, do you know if he's in Austria? I have no idea. I guess he's back in Austria. Yeah, but I, I'm not really sure. Raps is four tenths of a second behind him. Oh, Matt Sates is second. Him, just sitting on him, sitting on him, just prowling. Yeah, he's looking like smooth like a predator. I mean, that's how he swims, isn't it? He kind of just sits there and then really brings it home. That last sort of 75, right? Last 50, last 75. Yeah, I think Raps is going to have this one, dude. He's looking very smooth. That was a big and, and Raps will come back 26 low also. Yeah, he's looking still in there. Karen Smith's not even in the picture, I don't think. Where is Karen Smith? I think he's in lane five, right? All right, he's so on the he's one bottom yellow lane below. He's in he's in third right now. Oh, he's in third. He he looks okay. Man, Olbach is having a crack at this, but here comes Rapsus. He's kind of putting the legs in a little here. Oh, let's see what he can come home in. Going the Swiss, into the last the Swiss guy's third. Oh, this is the oh, last lap. Yeah, you're not going to lap. The oh, oh, this is the last lap. Oh, wow. Lukovic is coming too. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Good turn. It's going to be the first medal in 20 years, guys, if he does it. You can hold on. Really? First gold in 20 years or first medal? No, no, just medal. First medal, short course world. Switzerland. Oh, yeah. He's got it. Oh, nice. Nice call there, Matt, on the time. 3.35.9. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but. That was good. Raps is second. Djokovic third. Yeah, baby. There you go. I'd be pumped too. Oh man. Felix is screaming. He he he's been due, man. Um, Mike Bottom was on here and he was talking about the crazy things that this this guy had been doing in training with him. He just hadn't put it all together like perfectly yet. And yeah. uh that was a great swim. Uh Someone in the comments section here. We got Shem. Thanks for that. Loughborough. He's he's at Loughborough now. Um, yeah, we can't show the we can't show the swimming unfortunately because we'll get shut down and uh, we won't be able to talk anymore. So, but you can watch the swimming. You can watch it with while us. while we watch it. Turn it on. It's on Olympic Channel. What else is it on? You can watch oh, it on what? Fina TV too. Fina TV live stream. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's around. Okay, I thought I was the whitest human on earth. I think Albuck's the whitest human on earth. There you like, go. <laughs> uh, Kieran Smith in fifth there. This, oh, the Swiss guy, pull this guy got third, hey? Uh-huh. Yep. Nice. There we go. Yeah, told you. He's right a beast on the, on the second part. Yeah, I'm surprised that Kieran came so far down. He didn't have anything in that race. The Italian guy, too, came from lane eight. The Italians have a lot of people in finals again on both yeah. sides. Yeah. They're swimming good. Matt, what would you be, what would have been your strategy there? Do you think you would have sat back like reps or were you gone for it like Albach? Just just go from the beginning. Uh no, I definitely I definitely would have sat back and then to, almost tried to make it to split it. Okay. Well, if you had have done that, Albach would have beaten you because he went out, man, for the lead. He did not hold yeah. back. I love it. That mentality. I wish I could hear what he's saying right now. He's, he's pretty pumped. I don't know. Good race, though. All right, here's here's, here's split here. here. Hey, there's your name, Matt. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's always cool to see. <laughs> Got 
Guys, I'm not really good at math, but did Djokovic just negative split? I think he did, huh? 149 147 8. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, he and did. Wow. Crazy, huh? And his PB was this morning with 139 0. So he just won a phenomenal time. Wow. That's crazy, man. I don't know much about this Swiss kid here. Is this is this his best event? Yeah, he's a freestyler for sure. He's somewhere 200, 400. He's okay. good on the 100 relay as well. But yeah, I'd say 400 is his best, yes. Right. Have you raced him, Matt? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. How old is he? Um, he's 202, so 19. 19. Oh, he's still yeah. young. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you would pick him in three uh, yeah. next event. Oh, this is going to be a crack. It's a big one. It's too free. Uh, all right, round the room. Tobias, who wins this one? Oh, that's a tough one, man. I have, I have no idea. I guess I'll go with uh, Rebecca Smith. Okay, I don't know much about Rebecca Smith. Where'd she come from? She's like an older Canadian. Uh, I think she swam on the four by one hundred freestyle relay, maybe the uh, and the four by two for right. Canada for a long time now. I think Jared, who are you picking? I'm going with Siobhan. I think 100%. she's she's in hot Dude. form. Yeah, she's yeah, got Siobhan. she's got some fire behind her now. Now, what do you think, Siobhan? No, I'm also going that same as Jared. Yeah, she's hot right now. What time is in South Africa, Matt? Um, it's about. Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah, in the afternoon. You don't have training today. Uh, we we trained earlier today, so we can watch. Perfect. Good, good Wayne there. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, have you made a decision about uh coming to the U.S. yet? Uh, yes. Yeah, I I will be going to the U.S. in January. You will be to Georgia. Okay. Nice. Man. Awesome, dude. Also yeah. good for you. Congrats. Thank you. Yeah, the college life is a pretty fun life. Yeah, yeah, it is. And also everything, everything's there. So I got the whole setup and and system there already. Georgia yeah. just Georgia just shot up in uh in rankings. Yeah. <laughs> Hope so. in Matt Sates. Hang on a hey. second. Hold the phone. Um do, do are you eligible straight away to race? Uh yes, I will be. In January. Cool. So you'll be you'll be jumping into those uh conference and NCAAs right away, huh? No, yeah. I no rest. Be, yeah. Oh, <laughs> breaking nice, news man. on the live show. Breaking news. Georgia's <laughs> about to unleash a hungry Matt Sates in about two weeks from now. What's the first yeah, one? It'll be good. I'm excited. Good on to the race calendar. Who are you racing first? Oh, I don't know. Maybe Texas. Maybe Texas. Man, yeah. that'll be a sweet showdown. I have to look at the calendar here. Let's get the let's pull up the Georgia swim calendar and see what they got on the roster right now. I'd like to point out in this 200 free, there's a Bahamian girl in there that got the final. Good, oh. good swim. Joanna Ev Evans. Oh, Janet Evans. Uh, Evans. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joanna Evans. <laughs> Joanna. I think she swam. She swam at Texas. I don't know. That's if, correct. Uh, yeah, Texas. There. All right, here we go. Shaban here. Uh, and Paige Madden. Did you see Paige Madden walk out? She walked out in the wrong direction. The wrong way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, okay, never mind. All right, Shaban, uh, lane one is at the top of your screen. Lane eight is at the bottom of your screen. And uh, watch out. I, right, I really Bobby. think Shaban's Bobby going to get this. Bobby Gontura knows what's up, man. He knows that Matt Sates is about to come into the NCA and create <laughs> some waves. All right, 200 free. Look at this. Uh, Siobhan is just wants it from the get-go, huh? Yeah. She swam this race so many times in the ISL. She was so consistent the last several times. 150 she's point she's high. She's the biggest girl in the man. She's funny. She is Watch this kick out. Watch this turning yeah, kick out. I was going to say, her, her kick outs one, are two, really good. That three. timing is so every good. Single, every single wall is the exact same. She's under wall record pace by a lot. Brett, can you pause for 15 seconds and let <laughs> everyone know? I just said she's under pace. Chance? It could have been the first 25. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> just she's out in 
world record yep. pace was 54.4. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm way under world record I'm pace. 50 ahead of you. All right, I'll calm down. She had been um, swimming this race, really focusing on the back end, and she hadn't attacked it uh, in the ISL. She was really, really focusing on bringing it home that second hundred. I mean, this she's is, still right in the same pace too, isn't she? She doesn't back off at all. She's in the last 50, and she's right on that world record line. Oh, come on, Ooh, girl. Ooh, here we go. Come on, get it. She's been Good wanting this one. Oh. Look at that kick out. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Man, can you get closer? <laughs> Holy crap. Mm. Did she get it? Oh, oh, she got it. it. By over a body leg. Get it! Oh, yes. That's a world record, baby. You have a new world record, Holla. That's a new world record. Oh, wow. Point three. Look, finally, <laughs> finally, she's so pumped. Finally. Good for her. Is that like the first world record for Hong Kong? I'm yep. sure, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 26-2, 27-6, Good for her. That's crazy. That's so consistent. Yeah, I think a lot of people were waiting for this one. Sarah Soystrom's world record goes down by 0. 0.12 of a second. And <laughs> here you go. Boom. Splits. I mean, we've had two races back-to-back -back here where they've just gone for it, uh, you know, straight off the, the bat. No holding back. I mean, she's out in 53.8. Just wanted it from the get-go. I love it. I love it. Hey, Rebecca Smith didn't do too badly there at the end either. Page Madden, go on. I didn't even realize Summer McIntosh was in that event. Yeah, she took it out pretty hard, it looked like, but then... That third yeah. I mean, she destroyed that field. 150 to 152. Like two seconds. Rebecca Smith is only 21. I was I was mistaken on uh, I thought she was older than that, but she has been swimming at world championships since 2017. So she's mm. she's she's been to some big meets ever since she was young. She's the Matt Sates of Canada. <laughs> <clears throat> no, not that one. I don't want that one. Let's put this one up, Matt. This is your future here. Fink, Foster, and Marchand. And the 400 IM at NCAAs. What a race that is going to be, hey? Yeah. yeah. Woo. Damn. Yeah, that would be a good one. <laughs> NCAAs, like, he keeps, keeps talking about how fast it's going to be this year because of everything, and it just keeps getting better. <laughs> I mean, what a final that will be. Oh, she got 50 grand. Boom. There we go. The first 50 grand of the meet. Yeah. I wish they just like rolled out and gave her 50 grand right then and there in front like, of everyone. They just should like, give her like a suitcase of cash. cash. Like yeah. Beast. Like a, locked Beast. up the suitcase. Push it out. Oh, they did give him a big check. Nice. All right. That's, I'll take that. I like the cash. I'm with you. Maybe even gold bars. They're another dollar. You push out the gold bars. <laughs> nah, just send, like, oil. A, oil. send a Bitcoin yeah. over. Yeah, it's in Bitcoin. It's the canister like one oil. Bitcoin, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be e -wallet. one Bitcoin. Yeah, they could do it better than that, couldn't they? Oh, man. All right, what's up next? Turn a butterfly. Turn a fly. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We got a uh, hundred backstroke for men and hundred breast, uh, fifty breaststroke for women. Semifinals, right? Are they semifinals? They do semis. Yeah, no. they have semis in oh, the short one. At this meet, are they doing semis the same? I mean, semis and finals the same day or the next night? Uh, the next night. Okay. So prelims and semis on the same day, finals by themselves. Did we figure out how many days this thing goes for yet? Anyone? I think it's five. Um, five days? It goes till 21st, yeah. What, how many days is that? Till 21st? Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday's the last day. Day. Which is a bit odd, right? Thursday to Tuesday, somehow. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, we got now, what days? Uh, what days your flight to the US? 
Um, it, because uh, they, they stopped the, the visa appointments and everything um, for South Africans. So I think it's going to have to be on like the, the 10th, the 10th oh. of Jan. Oh, no, you could you might miss the first meet. Can yeah, I, I just might. I just might. Yeah, because they stopped the all visas for to go into the US for South Africans. Oh, come on, South Africa. Oh, yeah, they did this last year too. It was a pain trying to get your visa done or anything done. Oh, yeah. Why are we punishing South Africans? It's not fair, man. <laughs> not right. There's some big boys in this race. Is this 100 back? There's some... Yeah, this is the yeah, 100 back. back. Okay, so this guy from France, Johan, he just made it. Uh, he did a swim off and went 51 0 uh, to beat. Um, I can't remember. But so he uh, just barely made it in. But 51 0 was, was good for him. He beat the Norwegian guy and only just by the touch. He actually looked at the back, being back for 98 meters or so. Mm. Here's the start list. If I could get it. Fletcher. Fletcher, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually having a meeting with Brady tonight. We're going to talk about... Um, college swimming We're gonna do a little facetime together so yeah met his dad on a on a train actually i was on a train the other day met his dad small like, world small swimming world small robert world. glinta from romania here he is the ak-47 clement kalishnikov he kind of <laughs> looked like he was chilling this morning uh i still think he's the one that he, he's got to be the favorite don't you think what about Gita? I, I was going to say Gita, man. So that's a, He had a good swim this morning. Yeah, but how did he do in the ISL? Did he even break 50 one time? <clears throat> but I don't know if he um I don't know if he rested completely for that. Yeah, he was he I don't want to say he was off, but he definitely wasn't <clears throat> what what he was a, the year before at the ISL when he was constantly going 49. I thought um Nikolayoff was going to be in this meet. You know who I'm talking about? Mark Nikolayoff? No. No. Nobody. Nope. Where's he from? Um, Belarus. Uh, no. Russia? Russia. No? It's all the same. Yeah, he's Russian. He swam at um, Grand Canyon. But he, I, mean, I think he just went 49 in the 100 backstroke at the ISL. Oh, that, that kid. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I mean, that, that's a, that's a $15,000 win right here. Well, not wow. in this one, but here we go. Semi's number one, 100 backstroke in the Interesting. water. Interesting. They're not, they're not utilizing the, the full 15 off the, off the first wall, or the second wall, so. You think that's something that maybe changed short course too? Like swimmer wise, as they're coming up a little earlier to swim more, yeah, saving seems, oxygen yeah. on their legs, that kind of stuff. Seems like it, yeah. Man, Bob Bob Gillette always said in all of his coaching talks that we're we just we haven't we have we're not there yet in terms of getting the underwater kick fifteen it's meters awesome, perfect yeah. every single wall. Uh, he did a big presentation when Ryan Hoffer went 41-2 in high school in the Hunter Freestyle. And he showed, like, here's, you know, just by simple math, the, the equation of swimming uh, and showed where he could he could make up some time uh, with just a couple extra kicks instead of swimming cycles. Wow. Kalishnikov cruise in that one. There you go. AK-47. Yeah. Oh, he, out the bat. Really comfortable swim from Clem. 49-5. Matt, how many um, how many people were supposed to travel with you on the team for South Africa? Uh, yeah, I think it was about about eighteen, nineteen. That's a bummer. Yeah, so yeah, it was quite a, it was quite a big team going also. Yeah, so I read it was supposed to be nineteen, and now they're down to four. Is that right? Four coming from Europe, yeah, or so, which and they're from all over, start? yeah, yeah.
Yeah, Bobby, uh, you know, we're talking about the underwaters. Bobby uh, Bobby just mentioned there that you know, Holman utilized the full 15 to break that world record. So I think, yeah, that's kind of where the money's at. You know, you gotta, you got to be hitting those full 15. Maybe maybe tomorrow night they'll they'll lay it out for the final. Push it harder, yeah. Sixty percent of that race, baby, all done underwater. All right, Lorenzo Mora with a forty nine nine nine, also second place in that heat. You got some splits up. Oh, you, you got the splits? No, he can't until the second semi's done. Hugo Gonzalez, uh, the big Spaniard. Spaniard. Yeah, he had just snaked in. Oh, you know what I can put up, though? I mean, here's the start list. All right, so um, Reloff from Russia, you know, double Olympic gold medalist. He's not swimming at this meet. Mm. Um, he's not swimming the 100 backstroke. I don't think he's swimming. But uh, the young kid, uh, Pavel Samusenko, he's going to be in his place here. Uh, along with Clem in that first heat for Russia. Thomas Saccone, Italy. Watch out for that Italian. And, of course, Shane Cassis in this event. Uh, no Ryan Murphy, no Hunter Armstrong, no Coleman world Stewart. record holding uh, Coleman Stewart. Um, but uh, Shane with a beautiful swim this morning, 50.4, fastest 50 out faster than anyone in the first 50. So um, he's in it to win it. Yeah, he kind of has to put it out there, being the only American backstroker now. I mean, there's such a tradi tradition in this event that it's crazy. I mean. I don't know if um, who else is on the roster that's even swimming backstroke. Here comes Shane Cass's a little neck tattoo, huh? Huh? Brett, what if you just click pause? Count it to 10. Ah, just just I just like his neck tattoo. Yeah, you like to be in front. I do. Got this. Oh, Shane thing. Shane walking out with the the, the neck mask. tattoo. Yeah, neck well, tattoo. And the mask not around his ears. I like that. Just yeah, just holding it mouth. right there on his mouth. Why are they wearing masks when they're walking? I just don't get it. What's the stupid? You're about to race and breathe all over each other. Right, are you in the water yet? No, I'm a. We're, we're staring the water down. Close. <clears throat> we're looking at it. Actually, Shane Cassis looks like he's got some fresh ink all over his body. I mean, he's tatted up, left to right. <clears throat> he's looking a little like Bruno Fratis these days. <laughs> uh, you know what else is awesome about these events? Oh yeah, wow. Um, so many different uh, countries are represented in every single one of these finals. Yeah. Shane Cassis does look like he's got a, a lot of brand new ink on him. He's got yeah. them leg tattoos too yeah, on his I'm thighs. Yeah, looks like look very cool. Matt, you got a tattoo? No, I haven't got one yet. Not even I haven't got the Olympic rings yet even. Damn. Are you interested in the Olympic rings? Uh, yeah, I am. I, am. I just have to find the right place to get it. I have to take a, like a little time out the water also. Athens, Georgia, mate. Athens, Georgia. Plenty of plenty of tattoo parlors there. <laughs> oh, we're in the water. Shane Cassis looks good. He's way up on that start, too. Wow. Cassis look slick. So he also came up halfway, about halfway on that second 25 there, too. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're, they're not utilizing... The full 15 at all. They're, they're, they're swim, swimming a lot of this. Oh, wow. Cassis looks good. Dang. Oh, he's not even breathing hard. He's, he's breathing out of his nose at the end of this race. Look at that. That's finished. Yeah, 495. Easy. Beautiful swim there. Couple of 49.5s. Should be a great final. He's got the gold chain on too. Wow. It's Lewis Hamilton here of the swimming world. <laughs> Sir Lewis Hamilton now. Yep, yep, Sir Lewis Hamilton. I wonder if that's just a strategy, you know, not kicking the 15 and if they want to emphasize a bit more 
tomorrow on in the final. It, it yeah, does possibly. look short. Yeah, it does look short. It looks like they're popping up at like 10 meters, you know? Yeah, like, he's coming up here. Yeah, halfway, maybe. Pretty different. Pretty different. I gave I gave Bruno a workout today. We did a, a shoot workout, pretty tough shoot workout. That's the that's the end result. <laughs> Over the trash can. Oh yes, good work, Bruno. Love it. That's hilarious. That's how we do it, guys. Actually, here's another one too. <laughs> that's great that's what every coach loves to see i love it when they do that matt you throw up in practice at all no i haven't i haven't ever thrown up before <laughs> I, 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 I ever, you never thrown up ever in your whole life uh no i have but i also planned a meal so i don't eat uh like two hours before training or something so like i don't have uh, anything really in my stomach <sighs> because if i if i eat too close to training then i then i feel like vomiting the whole session you don't um, eat before morning workout at all. Uh, I have a like a quick um, smoothie type of thing, so it's real light. Okay. Yeah, that, that's looking like a good final tomorrow. What is it? We'll, we'll call a fifty point two. So it's pretty. Yeah, that's stacked. <clears throat> that's close. Yeah, man. no, it's great. Uh, the German well, Diener just, just missed good. out. Thomas Acone, he just missed out. He got. For fourth in the hundred back at the Olympics, um, Shane Cassis, woo, tied for first, baby. That was a beautiful swim. Yeah, he looked good. <clears throat> he looked real good. He looked like he was uh, breathing, not very heavily afterwards. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, well, I said he was breathing through the his nose, nose breathing. Yeah. Again, twenty three seven, out fastest first fifty. Yeah. What is this? A fifty breaststroke coming up? Yeah, this is fifty yeah. breaststroke. Interesting, there are two Finnish swimmers in this race, too. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, no, I'll shout out Ida. Ida's from FSU. Um, there she is. All right, there's your start list again here. Two Belgians as well. Mm -hmm. two and eight. I got to tell you guys, uh, Tobias sent me some a box of chocolates the other day. Oh my god, Tobias, oh, I'm I'm done. By the way, the chocolates are gone. I I devoured these chocolates. Uh, how how did you hand select these chocolates before we start this fifty breast? Tell me tell me about it. Well, we have uh, some of some specialist shops around here, and obviously they all do pretty. Pretty nice chocolate, and I just, I just went around and bought the best or the or the sort of the the crown favorite of every shop. So I hope Swiss, you like them. Swiss yeah. chocolate, man! Oh my yeah. god, incredible! How did you like the ones with the kirsch in it? The shops. Oh, oh they're they're a little strong for me. Those ones, but um, <laughs> I know. Here we go. We're on the block. This is gonna be a quick race. Fifty breast. Hey Sean, who, what did um, uh, Castiglione? What did she get deked for? Fly kicks, one single hand touch. Uh, uh, and this was interesting. Yeah, thanks again, Sean. Hunter Tap, the only other backstroker on the American roster, got beefy T. You know he can throw down a fifty and a hundred backstroke, but um, think think we're gonna need him in the butterfly. Just uh, like you said, well, the, so. the Finnish girls coming the, through. Yeah, here. Ida coming through from FSU girl. Oh, was she's it FSU? FSU. Yeah, she went to FSU. Yeah, she got the win, twenty nine six. I think that's a huge best time mm. for her as well. Sophie like Hansen from Sweden just behind her. She's a NC State, Sophie. Yep. Yep. And her sister's uh, in the hundred fly, I think. Looks like the Finnish girls might might top eight, two of them. Thirteen breaststrokers 13. got eight this morning. Wow. That's insane. Is it the same uh, referee as the ISL? Yeah. Same, same turn judge. <laughs> Hold my beer. She just kept putting her, her hand up. 
29 from these four girls uh, in Heat 1 here. Some good swimming by those girls, man. 29s. 13 got good that one. Wow. Was I muted? I just muted you for a second. Why would you do? <laughs> Hush up, Brett. Too far ahead of you. Actually, you no, you have um, you're the one that has like uh, there's this little sound in the background that I can hear, and it I kept on muting everyone because I didn't think it was you, but it's you. I told you I'm having trouble with this mic. I don't know what I've got the best mic in the business and. Attached to one of the best pieces of equipment, and it's giving me grief. Is it annoying? It's fine. I bet you no one really even realizes it except for me. It's a bit like on an airplane, so it's okay. Apparently, <laughs> it is for dolphin kicking into the wall at the turn end. Almost half the deep swimmers were from lane four. Oh, Sachi dude. was as well. Emery got beat. Emery Saki got digged, bro, in the hundred. And the Brazilian guy. And the Brazilian. Ugh. No way. That sucks. You're allowed the up kick, but you can't come down. But a lot of them just like flick up to come in, get into the wall. Wow, that's uh, that's rough. That person doesn't know the rules. All right, here comes uh, Olympic champion Lydia Jacoby trying to make a final here in the fifty brushstroke alongside uh, Israeli. Anastasia Gorbenko, who, um, who's been swimming lights out. Uh, she swam great this morning, too. Mona McSherry from Ireland, also under 30 seconds this morning. And uh, Pilato, the super – is she still hold the – she have a world record still? Uh, I think world so, yeah. World junior record, the Europeans, maybe. yeah. Oh, that was long course. I'm not sure. Well, um, I'm going with the Jamaican. Mm -hmm. I love Ali Atkinson. I love watching her swim short course. She was been killing it in the ISL, and I think she's going to take this one right here. Is there a final meet of her career? Last meet. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Interesting to see Jacoby on this one too, <laughs> on the fifty with the turns. Yeah, it's yeah, been a pretty convert, big storyline, yeah. I think, over here. She's way behind already. Wow. Oh, Brett. No, you're way in front, bro. I'm already at the wall, guys. Sorry. I somehow I'm, someone I'm with Tobias. I just had the dive. Oh, Lydia. Oh, you God. It's just such a long course stroke. Yeah, it's just not. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's come out of that turn like half a body length behind. She oh, needs yeah. time to build the thing. She's Lane one. Not feeling that. She is not happy. She just finished eighth. Oof. Oof. Welt. Um, she's kind of, she kind of seems like she's in shock. Yeah, she. Seems pissed. Well, at least her goggles didn't fall off this time. Yeah. Jessica Hardy's goggles. Um, well, oh, um, look at this. Uh, are there any other Americans um, swimming breaststroke in this thing? There aren't, are there? Not on the Guys, women's I, side. Yeah. I have I a mean, DQ for Atkinson here. DQ what? for Atkinson? What? Yeah. yeah. What? Lane four again. What? Yeah. No. Why is Brushstroke oh. such a you can't DQ Atkinson? That's this is horrendous. ridiculous. And that's sort of my point. You know, you can't make the rules harder at a meet like this than they were before. I mean, that's just yeah. it doesn't make sense. And it's not fair towards the athletes and the coaches. It's just it's just stupid. What what is this? Summer league? I'm trying to teach them a lesson or like, something. Seriously. I don't understand. Oh, lane four again. No. Hey, get her, get rid of her. Someone's got to can that. No, the, all right. Well, we got a big controversy. Like day one, here we go. I mean, you can't you DQ. The waters as well. That's fourteen people now. She's DQ'd. I, I mean, 
Ugh. Get rid of her. So frustrating. Wow, I'll be curious to hear about what happened there, man. Damn. Roll it back. Yeah, but then you have to reinstall the guys from the morning as well. Yeah. Which I think you should. I wonder if they're going to appeal those. I mean, you can go the video, right, and just say, well, they can't just be doing this for everyone. Yeah, that's horrendous. I mean, that's that's a terrible call. Terrible call. You can't DQ Ali Atkinson. She's When's the, the last time she got people. DQ'd? She's the when? most legal breaststroker when? there is. When? Yeah. So stupid. All right, here's your 50 breaststroke results. Hopefully they're unofficial. Taking the best swimmer of in the whole entire world out for nothing. What's the world record in that? The world record's... Alia Atkinson. Oh, yeah, eight, weird. 28.5. Yeah. 8.5? Eight, five. When did she do that? Uh, Budapest, October 2018. So all she has to do is go best time tonight if she's in it, and she makes 65000 bucks. Well, she's not going 28.5. She just went 29-something. I'm just saying. She, got she, a would, shot. she would have to do some dolphin kicks for 28. <laughs> <laughs> she had to time that starter. Five. When did she do that's that's wow. that's the fastest ever in the history of women ever and they just deked her for a probably it sounds like an up kick into the turn wall or a down kick i mean you, you we just talked to felipe lima about the up kick and how it's in every single person's breaststroke oh absolutely people train that i mean i know we used to train that too to do that little up kick at the end of your at the yeah, end of your kick. You dive yeah. into the wall and you hit the up kick to shoot yourself forward. The up kick's fine. You just can't come down on it. Yeah, it, well, I mean it's, it's pretty obvious. And I mean the point is at that moment, the referee is looking at your hands, so there's no point they can see your feet at the same time. Nobody there's can. No do way. That. No way. But that's just a stupid disqualification. You're looking at the hands if they're touching simultaneously. It would be the greatest thing in history if it was the same person as the ISL. <laughs> it's got to be the same judge. Tell me. What's this? They have been killing it. Yeah, Mona... Um... She came down to South Florida six. to race. Yeah, she came down to South Florida to race a few times. And I remember watching her and being like, man, this kid, she's going to be really good. Her sister went 50.2 in the 100 yard butterfly. Yeah. At Tennessee as a freshman, her first big meet, first invite meet. There was a time when you couldn't break 50 point as a woman. Now a change, people man. are just doing it. Give me some traditions here on Christmas Day. Uh, Matt, what do you traditionally do on Christmas Day? Uh, yeah, we usually go, um, all the family comes together and yeah, just uh, open presents and, and have like a Christmas brunch kind of thing. Right. Yeah. But what's the food that you generally eat on that day? It's a, the, a ham. Ham. A ham type of thing. Okay. So a lot of, lot of pigs. A lot of pigs going down in South Africa on Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tobias, what about you? What are we doing in Switzerland? We normally go to, to my mother's or, or our parents, and um, we have the traditional cookies, Christmas cookies, the ones you you had to oh, had as well. Oh, and um, what we do is fondue chinois. So that's uh, you have small pieces of meat and then you put them into boiling water and you eat them with different sauces which is really nice mm. oh. Oh. that sounds really nice that is right. sounds great a christmas cookies i think i might have a couple of christmas cookies you guys talk amongst yourself while i gotta look for my christmas cookie great breakfast uh, I, de I definitely got chad for this one yeah i gotta say i'm i'm leaning on chad for this one too there's no way i, I, I can root for anyone else I think he's got it in the bag, to be honest. You think? You think he's going to win he's... easily? Yeah. I, I think I think you will. I'm with Matt Sates on this one. Yeah. I mean, I got him to win. I think it's going to be a good race, but I, I would like to see him win by a lot, though. That's for sure. 
Uh, I, I think at least like 0. 0.3, 0. 0.5 even. Yeah, yeah. He just needs to sum the last 100 a little bit better and then he'll be good. Mm. No, I, but I think he's got that, got that in the bag also now. Yeah. He's been training more for that race too, I think, right? Even with you mm. guys when he was training with you guys. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And he's got those underwaters on point now also. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting because Trent and Julian, he goes out fast. Mm. Uh, those are the cinnamon, cinnamon ones. Yeah. This one here, look at this. Yeah. That jam? Yeah, that's jam. That, They're all low carb, it. obviously. Obviously. No <laughs> sugar, low carb. Nothing. Veggies. Switzerland Christmas cookie. So good. What's this little thing? This thing was good. What's it? Uh, that's, I think that's Wait sort of it. like, is it soft or is it hard? Um, kind of softish. Yeah. It's like a, maybe a gingerbread or something. Yeah. Chocolate ish something. This one too. Look at this one. Check this out. Uh, that's the one with the nuts. Yeah. Hazelnut and almond. That's like a Nutella, Nutella cookie right there. This morning, Trent and Julian out in 51.9. Yeah, that was his, quick. I saw that too. He went 28.0 on his third 50 and then added 2.3 seconds to that 50 and went 30.3. Ouch. Yeah, he goes out like a madman. He did the exact same thing at the Olympic trials, and I thought maybe it was just like nerves or something. Um, he... Maybe this is just the way he swims it. Maybe this is just his race strategy. Uh, but if he goes out really fast again and he comes home struggling again, he's he's leaving himself open to get caught. Yeah. Well, we know Chad will go out pretty fast too. He does like taking the race mm -hmm. out. So we'll see who goes out to win the first 100, right? Bronze medalist Noah Ponte also in go. this race. Here we go, Tobias. A little Noah Ponte. Yeah. The Estonian Kreger Zerk. He's right next to Chad LeClow in lane six. He went 150 point this morning. Ponty's going to come Mexican. home very strong. Ponty comes home strong? Yeah. I think oh. Jason Kalinog uh, coaches um, Jose Martinez. Anthony. Anthony swims for Sergio Lopez at uh, Virginia Tech. Oh, yeah, the Bulgarian. Yeah, this is a, this is a good heat here. Man, you you were you didn't you weren't doing this one, were you? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Who's your pick here then? Oh, Chad. I I, I think Chad's gonna win him by like zero point zero point three, zero point five maybe. I hope so. Brett was too busy getting cookies. Zero point <laughs> three. That's a that's a fairly accurate prediction right there. <laughs> not even messing around. He's been around. good so far. Zero Matt, point you should three. Bet. Yeah, Matt, you should put some bets on. Oh, that's oh. illegal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, don't do that. <laughs> Kicked out of Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still blown away by this Georgia thing. How good is Georgia going to be with Matt Sates crawling in there in January? Oh, my God. And to think this guy yeah. right here, Noah Ponte, who should have been at NC State, too. I mean, that's just like another that one that like, was there yeah. that left. Would have made NCAAs even faster. I'm going to How old is that. Trenton Julian? Uh, mm. He's young. He's still in college. He's the son yeah. of uh, Je Jeff Julian, the, the coach of um, the Cali Condors. Is That's mm. his son. Is he still in college or, or is he just finished? I, th I thought he had one more year. He's 23, so. Mm, I, I think, oh, yeah, no, he's, I think he's just finished. Here we go. Here's my boy, Chad LeClaw. Look at that suit. It's gorgeous. Sweet, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The spring book. Ring ball. Oh, is that what it is? I didn't see. Yeah, they hooked him up with that one. Wow. Uh, yeah, that, it, that is a fly suit. Matt, you get your hands on one of those yet? No, not yet. Oh. Remember oh, those you're the jumpers? Speedo boy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. In the water? In the water. Yep. Good. Same here.
Chad first at 25. I watched him clean everyone's clock in Windsor live. I think he set the world record in the hundred fly at that meet. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was on. He was on. I think he likes short course too. He's he's a, he's a really good short course swimmer as well as a long course swimmer. But I think he I think he kind of likes it. He he usually shows up to all these meets. Is he doing my Chad? What lane is Chad in? Uh, five. He's in five. He's not going out hard. No, he's uh, hanging back a little bit, which is I mean, different, huh? He's hanging way back. 52s. Tomo Voss from Norway out in 51.9 on the bottom of your screen in lane eight. The Nor- the young Norwegian kid that swims for the LA Current. I was going to say, didn't he have a pretty good ISL season too? Yep. Yeah. Trenton Come Julian on, Chad, still what's out going there. On? He was out just a little bit slower. Oh, here comes the field. Oh, they're, they're, they're coming at him. Who's in oh, lane yeah. two? Is that Craig or Zerk? No, that's Rossetti. Here comes Ponty. He's coming h- hard. Rossetti. Rossetti. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got it. They're catching up. Oh. Yeah, your Swiss guy's Long coming back. Yeah, oh, I told you. Second oh, half, man. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Look at yeah, him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Head down. Head down. Head down. Mm. That's, Chad, oh, man. that's tough to watch him. Oh. Just oh, heating up, boy. Touch. Oh, man. Oh, the Italians. Italian stallion. Rossetti first. Noah Ponte second. Ooh. Oh, the Chad LeClaude, third place. And Trent Julian, I think, was just, just got touched out, so he's in fourth. Chad what just left that a little too long. I yeah, think Chad was still be happy to get that medal there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he's just coming off a little bit of an injury. I was going to say, he had that knee injury for a little while, didn't he? Yeah, he uh, was out for a couple weeks. Yeah. I'm not making no excuses for nobody, but um, that was a great, that was fun. Let me pull, let me pull up wow. your splits here. I want to see that Noah Ponte's last 50, man. Uh, Rossetti, dude. Rossetti back in 28-4. LeClo back in 28-3 actually he had the fastest, fastest 50 coming home. Wow. Uh, Tomo Voss, who was in first at the hundred, got gets last place. Goes thirty-two-one in the last fifty and just eats it. Damn. Yeah, that hurt. Oh, sorry. I thought I, I thought I added this thing. There it is. Poor Trenton Julian. Trenton Julian's gonna have nightmares. Lost fifty nightmares, man. Wow. It's fifty nightmares. I mean, this is the way he's been swimming it for like, for as long as I can remember. He goes out fast and he comes back a little slow. Hence the nightmares. Yeah. 27-6, I mean, that third 50 was spot on. I mean, he's leading at, he's in the position. He's in perfect yeah, position at 150 to win this race. He just has to figure out what's going on in that last 50 where he's jumping up almost two full seconds. He's going out like a madman. That's what's going on. Yeah, maybe. Who's the guy doing the on-pool deck interviews? Looks like a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> he's been doing the uh, World Cups for a number of years now. He's quite fun. Oh, really? Yeah. Where's he from? He's American. Matt, you, oh, no, you, no, no, you no, must have had a few interviews British. with him, Matt. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's a very nice guy. No, I do enjoy his interviews. <clears throat> okay. What do we got next? Women's 400 IM. Oh, Emma Wyant. She she was eighth this morning, she so she barely in snuck yeah. in. So um, hopefully she was oof, taking it easy there. Let me pull up the start list here. She's yeah, from around too. here where I am, too, in Florida and Sarasota. So. Yeah, she yeah. swims for the Sharks. The sh- you know, YMCA Sharks. Brent Arkey. Good program over there. Great program. Nice pool. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bailey Anderson, 
the Canadian, she gets to sub in. So she wasn't on the roster and she's now swimming. She oh, nice. uh, won the ISL finale, did she not? Uh, I don't know. I thought she I did. Um, Melanie Margalis is back. I haven't seen her in a minute. Um, also from St. Pete, Florida. Another one. Everyone's uh, within uh, two seconds here, 4.30, 4.31, or 4.32 this morning. The young Ellen Walsh from Ireland is in this one, uh, also uh, swimming for Tennessee. And uh, there is um, uh, Jakobos from Hungary, yep. 1989. She's still going strong, uh, still, swimming, sw still swimming the big events too. I think I got a clip from her. Yeah. My name is Zuzana Jakobos, I'm from Hungary and I just got a medal for 200 fly. I didn't understand a word she just said. But, uh, <laughs> Hungarians, man. Yeah, her her accent is thick. That was uh that was from that uh Matt, you you were at that meet. I think there's a little clip of you somewhere floating on the internet. It's about that long. Um and they were just like, "Yo, well, just hold up your medal and t tell everyone who you are and <laughs> and if you won this medal." Yeah. So I think uh we have t Tom Shields was like, "Hold on." Yeah, you've played that one before. You did that one yesterday, didn't you? <laughs> Hey, I'm Tom Shields from the United States, and I did the 100 fly, and I got a gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> it always makes me laugh. All right, um, here we go. We're in the water here. Women's 4 IM. We are in the water. On wow. the bottom of your screen, uh, the American. <clears throat> See what she's got here, short course. Matt, you'll come to learn very quickly that uh, Nate is very American bias. Okay, so. Very. <laughs> very. Um, hey, Matt, listen. Is there a chance that you could lay down a 50 kick for time for us? I know I, I was going to um uh, we don't have a long course pool. Oh. Yep. And uh, we I was going to go to a, a meet and and swim long course. So I was going to plan to do it there, but yeah. then it got canceled because of the covid. Oh, the coco, dude, it's ruining everything. <laughs> it's killing everything. It's like, killing kill. kick for time worldwide. Tomorrow, right, what about you? Any long course Switzerland? Well, we have a few pools, but um, we personally don't have one. So um, we're waiting for the 25 meter 50 kick challenge. Yeah. That's coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, the 25 meter kick one, I'll be on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Matt. Uh, Nate, let's, uh, maybe we want to have to put this together. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Emma Wyant first at the 100 in the 100 <laughs> fly. She's looking good in that backstroke now, too. Mm. Yeah, we were just uh, we were at UVA not too long ago. We did their uh, their inner squad meet, and of course, we got to meet Emma there and uh, interview her for a couple minutes. And um, yeah, she's the real deal. Is she uh, Olympic silver medalist in this event? She is. Yep. Okay. So you guys, I'm, 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 at, I'm at cuddle soon. We got um, uh, we got load shedding at five. Oh um, my uh, god! So, so far, this go away. This go what? Thanks for having. Um, uh, we we got electricity cuts. Electricity at five, cuts at five to six. What is going on in South Africa? What's <laughs> happening? It's COVID, man. It's cutting off yeah. electricity too. Electricity? <laughs> what? I've never heard this in my life, Matt. It was great to have you back again, dude. Thanks yeah. so much for coming and sharing and uh, yeah, watching some swimming with us. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much for having me. Yeah, my Cheers, Matt. Good to see you. Turn the electricity care. back on. Come, come back on another care, day, guy. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Electricity, Jared. What's happening in South Africa? So, <laughs> it's, I forgot about that, man. Every time I go back, there's like two, one to two hours every day that they shut the power grid off because it's overloaded. Like they haven't maintained the uh, <laughs> the power the, the uh, power stations. You're so having they have rolling to shut blackouts. It down. Yeah, literally running blackout so that they can manage the power usage. Yeah. 
It's absolutely insane. But we've been doing it for like three or four years now, too. Yeah, once you start those things, it's kind of hard to stop them. Yeah. Imagine All right, here we go. Man. The Canadian Imagine Tess is in started. the middle of the pool. She is uh, she yeah, is taking this breaststroke stroke. and crushed it. But Emma's still up there. Emma's still pushing it. Yep. She, she's got a great freestyle, but she's over. Uh, she's about a body length behind going into freestyle here. It might be too much to catch up. Oh, Irish girl with a good underwater. Wow. Oh, wow. oh great underwater. Oh, wow. Who's that? Ellen Walsh? Yeah, that she's yeah, from Temple yeah. Log Swim Club in Ireland. We talked about her on the live show a couple weeks ago when she went 50.2 at the Tennessee Invite. Where does the Canadian train? Who coaches her? I don't know. Magalis came through now. She's pushing through there. Um, Tess is uh, also swimming for the University of Tennessee. Wow. Or maybe not anymore. Man, that underwater on that last turn. What a great swim. Nothing yeah, she just graduated from Tennessee. So Tennessee's going to go 1-2 here. Unless oh, Melody Margalis gets her hand on the wall. Get in there. Come on, Mel. <laughs> Melody Margalis, third place there. Third place. Coming so this back girl, the, the Canadian was at Tennessee? Correct. Oh, her name is mate. Tessa. Matt, uh, she won a gold. Man. She, she won gold in this event at Pan Am's in 2019. Huh? And she, she swims for she, the Toronto Titans. What did she finish at the Olympics? Um, Wonder. she just had a cracking swim there. She finished 14th at the Olympics uh, in Tokyo. That was her first games. So. Wow. Uh, great swim there, Tessa. <clears throat> Let's pull up the results here. And the Irish girls at Tennessee, too? Yep. Oh. Matt Credit's just laying it out for... <laughs> little kiss at the end? Huh? Wow. There you go. Brilliant. Look at that world record, though. I was just saying. I was just oh, thinking. Yeah, that's nuts. Eindhoven. Yeah, Belmonte had those. Had a few years there where she was just killing it. Bailey Anderson, fifth for Canada. Uh, the top seed, uh, the Italian, uh, sixth. Zhu Jakobush, 431 in seventh. And Katie Shanahan, Great Britain, eighth place, 432. Coming up next, men's 100 breaststroke semifinals, women's 100 backstroke semifinals, the men's 200 IM finale, and then we got the men's and the women's 4x100 freestyle relay. So got, got a few more races here. Um, looking forward to that men's 2 IM. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fast. Uh, I got to do a pee break. No decode there. Mm. <clears throat> hey guys, how about two medals for Switzerland on one day? That's fantastic, yeah. man. Two you said it hasn't ever happened years. in like 20 years? Yeah, the last one was Flavia Rigamonti 2002 on the 800 in, what was that, Moscow, I think. Mm. You tell us, what, what does it mean for, for Switzerland? I mean, we've been watching these boys for a few years now and, and funny enough both of them became european junior champions on the same day at the same meet uh, ponti over 50 fly and Djokovic over 400 freestyle and now like five six seven years on they're meddling at worlds for for switzerland and and so it's it's a generation we are really really happy to have and and, and keeping an eye on them but yeah 
still need to look at that's also the others as well yeah well cool. are they coached uh by different coaches they're from a completely different clubs completely different systems uh noe ponti actually lives in the in the italian part so he lives down south antonio comes from the north and, and he's in usta now so um yeah there's not much in common there but it's somehow it's working for both of them hang on there's an italian part of switzerland yeah yeah it's we've the got fun four part of languages yeah how many languages four four yeah like four so, official languages yeah uh, what? well four, four languages i mean what are they? english is very common but it's not official then we have german which is the the language that is spoken the most in the northern eastern part then we have french in the western part italian in the southern part and then there's a small language called romanche which is called spoken in the very far eastern part but that's only spoken by about thirty thousand people i think something like that <laughs> i've lived 46 years and i've never heard that before in my life that is that, that's a that's a fun fact right there um do you, you know how yeah. to speak this language romanche no yeah. i i speak italian and french but i don't speak romanche no what is romanche what what is it uh what, what does it sound like it's it's sort of a an old latin roman language so it it has connections to italian and and i guess yeah italian is the closest but it's um i don't want to be too political i'm not too sure about that but it's it's it sort of stayed in an old-fashioned way and um they're culturing it and nurturing it to to keep it alive yeah right. that's brilliant 30 only thirty thousand people yeah that's speak it that's yeah but i mean jared i think south africa has something like 17 official languages or so yeah we have uh 11 official languages it might be 11. more now since i left but i know last time i knew it was it was 11. yeah yeah how many do most you speak? of them two what english and afrikaans afrikaans which is the one that clicks <laughs> that's closer I, it's a that's a more of a black South African language. So like a lot of we actually learn those in primary school, and then we will learn like one or two black African languages in primary school, and then uh, depending on what high school you go to, you continue on, or you just you kind of move more into Afrikaans and English and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I would have loved to have continued to learn a black South African language. I think they're they're they they sound sound so cool when you can hear the sentences go together. And it's just it, you feel that the culture of those languages is so cool too because they're very similar but there's some things about them that are just different it's kind of like spanish in argentina mexico you know all in spain they're all the same but they've got different kind of dialects and stuff to them too so right yeah. can you give me a sentence in uh, the click click language oh i, I i'll, got I'll definitely I, I have no idea how to do that one <laughs> got nothing <laughs> no i it's been too long since i've done that so we got Tobias, some how, many African, uh, yeah. how many languages you speak Tobias? well german obviously is my my mother tongue then english uh french is pretty good as well italian i can imagine i can manage and spanish after a few days in camp normally works out a bit but that's just very just I always feel like a podcast. dumb shit on this podcast, bro. Yeah. We have everyone knows like twelve languages. Uh, Me and Brett are just trying to speak the English one. I'm so uncultured. Yeah, it's pathetic. I, I've been saying for a long time, like uh, I wanted to get my first daughter, like a, I wanted to learn Chinese. You know, I think that'd be a great language to learn. Uh, and uh, I, I didn't do anything with my first daughter. I guess I could still do it. She's only two. Oh, this time, yeah. Now I have my second daughter. I'm like, oh, this is. I gotta get. I gotta get someone in here. You better move to China real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's at. I just think that would be like the when you go over there and you're just a n normal American girl and you can speak fluent Chinese. You'll be able to uh, to to build those relationships that you need to do that we uh, that we have over there. So it's um it's important. I think it's cool. I, I don't know anything. I can't. I can't speak any language. I can hardly speak my own. You know. Yeah, but you guys don't have to. Everywhere you go, people speak English. So that's uh, that's, that's where it comes from. Yeah, they say that, but I mean, go over to China. It's not. Yeah, that's true. There's not that much English. 
you know? Not really. I was to Tokyo once. There wasn't that much English in Tokyo as well. Yeah, I heard that. I heard the Japanese are like the same way. Um, I don't know if that's changing or not. I know that's changing in America now. I mean, uh, in China, in English. Um, but, you know, the uh, like my manufacturer, you know, we make the pace clocks. We make them in China. And our manufacturer is like the same age as me. He's got two boys. I got two girls. So we kind of like grew together, grew our businesses together grew our families together um, just on the other sides of the world. And it's, it's interesting to, to watch um, the differences between the cultures and how things are done. Uh, and, you know, Otto, he taught him, say he's like a self-taught English guy, like didn't, didn't learn it <clears throat> in school or anything. And uh, now as kids, you know, like the TV's in English, you know, they're watching news in English. Um, how many more events do we have here? We just got the hunter back. Uh, we got men's hunter breast, right? Yeah, men's hunter breast, women's hunter back, men's two IM. That's the that's the big race. Oh, that's the final two relays. Yeah, yeah, that's the finale. Oh, that's a bummer. Matt had to leave because they cut the power. That would have been good for him to talk about that one. Um, when do you have to leave, Tobias? Oh, I'm not sure I can make it to the 200 IM. I would actually love to. I mean, yeah, I'll, that's I'll, the one everyone wants to watch. Yeah. I mean, the relays are no offense, but ugh, Whatever. they're just they're not. Come on, Switzerland's in the final four by 100. <laughs> We're really proud as well. Switzerland. Vice has got a lot of stake in this game today, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. This is Swiss Day. It is <laughs> Swiss Day. Let's have another. Let's have another cookie in in uh, celebration. Go for it. Hey, Britt, is Keep that your watching. cereal bowl behind you? And that is actually the um, that's the trick or treat bowl that's still there. I'm, I'm still doing trick <laughs> nice. or treat. Anyone that comes by gets a free candy. Yeah, it's been sitting there for a while. Oh, 100 breaststroke. This is the 100 breast? Yep. Yeah, but it's just semis. Yeah, but you know what's going to be interesting, right? Who's wh which world record holder is going to get disqualified for an up four. kick on their breaststroke or a one handed touch or some stupid? Who's in four? How are they gonna, who's going to try and avoid being in lane four for the final here, too? Yeah, man, that's just nuts. 2021 is the beginning of Swiss dominance, and uh, could be the end, actually. <sighs> yep, we're relying on a few people, guys. So one of them gets out. Not Michael much Andrews in this. Huh? That's right. Uh, he put out a new vlog last night. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's it's only like nine minutes or something. Um, it's kind of refreshing, you know. He's you yeah. can tell like he's very comfortable with who he is and the decisions he's making now. Um, he's not a little kid. He's an adult. He's a. Yeah. <clears throat> he's he's he's. Fulfilled the prophecy, you know, at, at you know going pro at fourteen and becoming an Olympic stud, champion. Olympic, well, yeah, champion. Olympic champion. Yeah, he exactly. Is. I mean, he is. Yeah, uh, hundred percent. is about to get DQ'd here. Yep. Sorry, man. Your your time's up. Manovich <laughs> is going to get DQ'd. Lane four. If anyone's going to get called on a dolphin kick into the turn, it's Shumanovich. Yeah. Well, he has such a narrow kick too, doesn't he? I mean, they they're going to get so confused with him. Incredibly narrow. Did you see all the the little Instagram stories that Brett did when he was over in Einhoven a couple weeks ago with Shim Shimanovich in the diving well doing vertical breaststroke oh, kicking yeah. with a band and Good. there's some really neat Good. stuff there. I've seen him when I was in a couple of World Cups do that uh, those pull out drills he does when he jumps up and then he does mm -hmm. his pull out into the air. I mean that that, that takes some serious power <laughs> and timing. Heard Shimanovich right. had to pay for this swimsuit. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, that's what I heard. Um, the suit that he kept breaking the world record in like three times. He had to he, he had to, like buy his own swimsuits. Wow, isn't that unbelievable? Yeah, who would want? Who would not want to pick him up after that? Silly. Mm. Don't, the, don't, see, don't see any hands living. yet. They live and die by the suit companies. Mm. 
Oh, Michael Landry's struggling. Oh man, I was just about to say Michael Landry looks pretty good at the fifty. I'm I'm a little oh. further behind you guys, I think. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing what you seeing now, Tobias. It's not. Yeah. Oh, his 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 hand speed is very slow. I'm He's calling, suitable for long course, I think. Yeah. I'm calling a DQ on Shimanovic on that last wall there. I, I I felt like I saw a down kick on that underwater. Did you know? I, mean, I didn't. I didn't see it. I was looking hard, and I saw a down kick on the underwater uh, um, into the into the final stroke. Mm. He went up, and then as he hit the wall, his feet came, came down. down. I mean, that could be called. 56.5 yeah, is, is pretty good. It's not as fast as I was expecting. Maybe they're just kind of swimming it out. Oh, well, the, the rankings aren't popping up immediately. That usually is indicative of a... Uh, a disqualification. Oh, I, got it. I got it. Official. Looks official. Okay. We're all good. No deeks. No deeks. No. Whew. Yeah. Broke no the deeks. streak. No deeks. Uh, what 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 uh, website are you on? I'm just on the official FINA Aqua, no, whatever. FINA feed. Yeah. Are they doing it on? I think they're doing it on YouTube, like FINA are doing it through YouTube. Yeah, something like that. Only yeah. certain regions can do it or something. The Swiss Federation has an official feed from the FINA and they're mm. just popping it up on their site. Well, Michael Andre coming back with the 57 8th, nope. seventh place. Uh, great swim by the German kid uh, that swam at Western Kentucky, Fabian Schwen. Schwen you do that one? Yeah, we'll keep that for the German guy over here. <laughs> I will. I'll help there's you. There's there. another German in this heat. Uh, give, give us the name on this kid, uh, Lane 8, I think it is. What's his name? Lucas Joachim Mazerat. Oh, yeah. Wow. No well, Lucas Joachim, that's two first names, and Mazerat is his last name. So, Mazerat is not German, though, is it? Well, it sounds a bit like Maserati, so I don't know if, if that's from Italy originally or. We have Montinengi in it, the Italian guy coming now. Oh, this uh, what did this guy win the ISL? This Aust this Austrian guy, Bernhard. Did he won two hundred. No, no. Did he that won was, the uh, uh, Nick Fink. Um, Nick Fink went went dominant three for three. Went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Nick Fink in this? Oh, there he is. He should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's giving a little. He does his normal. He's happy. He's happy to be there. It's great. It's um. This is this is Ilya's chance to to beat Nick Fink, you know, after after getting his dreams crushed by him three three times. <laughs> That'll be a good final. Got some work to do. After what I just saw there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you got you also got to mess with this uh, this guy from this, the Netherlands. Oh he's yeah, pretty good. He's on fire. Yeah, he 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 came to play. Oh, Kaminga, yeah. Yeah, he looks great. He looked great this morning. Nate, you didn't watch this this morning, did you? No, 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 no. I was gonna say. That was very early. Yeah. Okay. And racing. I'm in the water. Twenty-five. Oh, wow. Tobias! Tobias is way ahead all of a sudden. I'm not even off the blocks yet. Yeah, Dang. me neither. I'm a bit closer to the east. I get, I get yeah. head start. <laughs> oh. I thought I was good. You got, you got good morning, SB. SB back. Show. 
But he's going for Team America, baby. Son of a bitch. What does it stand for? Kaminga, um, man, he gets his arms so tucked in here when he, before, it, he just is so tight. Mm. He's far back, though, at that first 50. He's not even in the top three. Like a half a body length behind. Give him time, buddy. Give him time. Yeah, I guess he does build into this, doesn't he? The bias is just very quiet because he knows. Oh, what oh Kaminga. Kaminga all day long. Yeah, that third 25 was outrageous. Wow. Jeez. Close is like a machine. And then turn. Not fast, though, is it? I mean, nothing like well, that. Not, not, not when 53 oh, no, yeah. gets popped like three times every week after week and you just keep seeing the world record go down. Kaminga, one. Nick Fink, two. Martin Nagy from Ital Italy for uh, third place. I'd be interested to see what uh, Kaminga's splits were there on that 50. Uh, 27-0, 29-3. Yeah, that's what I thought. 29-3, second 50. That's going to be a nice <laughs> race tomorrow. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's, there's your uh, top eight finalists there. Michael Andrew, 14th. He's out. Yeah, just not just not racing fit, man. That's what that's what it comes down to. Yeah. All these guys at the top, they've been racing like ISL and World Cups and stuff. He racing took so fit, much man. time off and then yeah. he didn't race. And you know, was, I thought it was kind of crazy. Like his parents are the GMs of one of the teams of the ISL, and he's the superstar uh, in the face of that team, and mm -hmm. he doesn't compete in the league. It just seemed – I know people need breaks, but, you know, like you also – I don't know. It just seems so weird. Like your starting quarterback's not going to swim, yeah. but your parents are running the thing. Uh, I don't know. Um, it feels like you almost have that obligation, and then if you give it up, it's like, well, what is the point, you know? SB oh, wow. said 13 weeks off. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people took a lot of time off. That's that's maybe a little more than most people. I guess you can't just go surfing, <laughs> unfortunately. China with two uh, two swimmers in there, 57-1, 57-2. They're sixth and seventh. Mm. Ilya, yeah, they've been pretty quiet, huh? 56-5. He's out, um, you know, not that much slower than what his world record is. Four tenths, four and a half tenths. I guess that is quite a bit. Oh, Anastasia Gobenko is back again. Okay. Another run. 100, 100 fly now? Says. I think it's 100 back, is it? 100, 100 back. Backstrap, yeah. Mm, 100 back. Hey guys, sorry. I have to go to practice. It was a real pleasure, but I have to leave you with it. No worries, All dude. Met. Uh, we'll we'll catch up again. We were supposed yeah. to talk privately, but we'll, we'll yeah. catch up. Thanks a lot. Nice for to meet you, Tobias. Thanks. Yes, and, you and too. You See you, Tobias. Nice bye bye. See you, buddy. And then there oh, were man. three. Tobias. Tobias is the cookie monster man. That guy will hook you up with some chocolates. You want chocolate? Just send Tobias yeah. a little. Yeah, chocolates, man. Switzerland. That's the man. Ha. Train hard by. <laughs> wow. Oh. All right, women, well. 100 backstroke. Well, Kira Toussaint, here we go. Kira, a um, little payback from the ISL miss that she yeah, she, missed it, didn't she? she could be in form here. This could be her meet. Another uh, Tennessee girl. Tennessee's hot right now. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know if she's still at Tennessee. Yeah, no, but you're right. She did swim for Tennessee. She is another volunteer. Uh, Louise Hansen's in here. She, she, she had a NC State. No, yep, USC. This morning, USC. Louise Hansen's from USC. Mm. Yeah, but her sister's at NC State. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's how I got mixed up. Yep. I mean, she was at USC. I think Louise is uh, training in in uh, England now. 
And she's doing uh, grad school in England. It's hard to keep track with everybody. Yeah. Hey, hey, we got an Australian in this heat. Woo! Oh, there is. Oh yeah, Holly Barrett. Holly Barrett. Oh wow. Well, I did hear that they were sending like the people that were going was non-official team, like it wasn't supported by the federation at all or anything. I think you had to opt in. Yeah. But, okay. Um, only two people did, and she's one of them. And then Chalmers pulled out because of his shoulder. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's like one of the re- it's like the relays are just they're just names you have never even heard of on um, uh, seriously, you know, and, and yeah, then entire yeah. countries like Australia and Japan just not there. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's not problem. it's not a good look. But it is what it is. I mean, I guess it's always hard being an Olympic Olympic year when you have to deal with this kind of thing too, you know. And the ISL and COVID, yeah, listen, so back I, to back to I back. I went to um, I went to three world short course. Did you did you get a world short course, Jared? I didn't. I, I didn't know. I, I tried. I was close yeah. in 2018, but um, yeah, I haven't been to one. Yeah, I, I went to three. To that one never. That one never hotly contested. Mm-hmm. You know, Luis Hansen for the win there, 55 eight. Yeah, great swim right there. Time. She wow. Beautiful at the end. Yeah. Touching out Kara Tucson and the other Dutch girl, um, the Ward, who I think. She um no, she wasn't the one that was winning the backstroke skins. Or maybe she was. I thought that was a South African girl winning the backstroke skins. At in the ISL. Um uh, I don't I don't know of any backstroke girls that we had go to ISL. Swedish four by one medley relay is Hansen, Hansen, Sostrom, and Coleman for the dub Bruno nineteen ninety nine calling it now uh that's a oh yeah that's, that's a good, that's, a good yeah, that, that's gonna be a good one <laughs> that's a great relay right there she's happy voice mm. yeah she looked good the whole way through that race man good turns everything I will say I'm pretty jealous of the whole uh, Abu Dhabi Ithiad Arena. I'd love to get over there and check it out. It looks like a cool place. Yeah. My uh, my college roommate actually lives there. He swam with me in college at ODU. He um, he fixes uh, helicopters over there. And I got to visit him uh, a few years back. You know, he flew into Dubai. And um, he just picked me up. I think it was uh, maybe an hour, maybe 90 minutes drive to Abu Dhabi everything's just so big Mm -hmm. like everything's so big oh so you you went there yeah uh advertising is huge like like i'm talking like size damn like um it's it's, oil money man yeah it's over the top it's over the top um but it's cool it's i've never been in such a long line in customs it's like the hub of the that side of the world, you know, everybody comes through Dubai. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've flown through Dubai a few times too, and it's just it's it's huge airport too. I mean, it's insane. The, I had a I took a picture of the customs walk in there. There had to have been fifty lines, oh, wow. you know, yeah. across. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. And a hundred people in in each line. So, yep. um, yeah, definitely a melting pot of people. All right, second heat here. 100 backstroke. Dude. Two Chinese. SB keeps saying, like, I, I'm looking extra sleepy. Well, I just had a second <laughs> kid. Cup uh, of tea. I have a little, a, a, another little girl. She came a month early, just a couple weeks ago. So um, I have not slept uh, through a night in probably two years. I also have a diabetic dog who gets up in the middle of the night every night. So. Nate's got a couple of years ahead of him, a couple of rough years ahead of him. I think he looks uh, bad now. I'm, so, I'm just back. I'm trying to trying to hold things down here. Hold all right, together. SB. I'm just trying to day by day, one day at a time. Exactly. Who's this? Katie Burkoff. Oh, Katie Burkoff. She looks fit, man. She's fit. She's um she's at NC State. Mm. 55 and 9, uh, I think That's is good. her best time from this morning. Of be course, good, right? her father is uh, the famous David Burkoff, who created the Burkoff Blast. 
one of the first guys to underwater really dolphin. own in that underwater dolphin kick. Yep. Uh, Alabama, Ryan this. White. Ryan White's in here from Alabama. Uh, Kylie Moss from Canada. She's always going to be on the podium, bro. She, no one ever talks about her, and she's always on the podium. Always. Is Megan McNeil in this one, too? In this I think race? so. Yeah. She, she was your goal, wasn't she? You picked Megan McNeil? Yeah. She's not in That's, this. She's here, I think, in lane seven, is she? I didn't see her. Is she? I, I'm pretty sure I thought I saw I've got her. her down as making it through. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I didn't see her walk out. Maybe I just... She might have been in the first heat, too. I'm not sure. Might have missed her in the first heat. Maggie scratched. Thank ah. you, Tim Cheng 21. I didn't Thank see you. her, man. She's someone you'd notice. She's a, she's a presence, you know? Like, she's... Hmm. You know, and, and she's an underwater kicker. You'd see her pretty clearly. Eric Myers in the comments. He oh, remembers Ryan, the Ryan White. Twice. Ryan White. Okay. Coming at it. Wow, that's a close finish, man. Wow. Good racing. That finish. Wow. She's got the American nails looking good in flash. <laughs> she's got it all going. Good win. Good win. America looking tough in this event. One, two in this one. Uh, definitely have a chance to go one, two in this one tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see if um these other swimmers have Kali Moss, man. She's she always seems to get her hand on the wall. Yeah, I guess we, we can't really predict until the actual final, right? Till they're in swimming, because anything can happen there. <clears throat> 56 0. Okay. We talked about this kid uh, oh, yeah. on the live show yesterday a little bit. 142 in the tuner butterfly. Nuts. They're, uh, they're not pulling up these backstroke results. Yeah, they are. Here we go. 55-8, Luis Hansen, Toussaint. The, that uh, heat right there was 56-0-5, 56-0-7, That's real close. Yeah. They're gonna yeah, 57-2 to make a final. They're going to be like third and fourth qualifiers. So, I mean, they got a chance. You're going to have to swim faster than that, though. Okay. All right, big ones up next, huh? Two hundred IM. I didn't even check to see who uh, who's commentating this at the Olympic Channel. Who's doing the commentary? It's, uh, you know what? I don't know either. I think it's Rowdy, actually. It is Rowdy, Rowdy. and uh, I don't know. They, they had them up in the beginning, but I haven't I haven't been listening. Yeah, I, I just have been on mute. They haven't they haven't shown the commentators. Oh man, they've been uh, Rowdy's been doing commentating like from the luxury of his own home. I think. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, technology. That's great, man. He's killing it. Yeah, killing uh, it. The women's backstroke, um, they're not popping up for me. The actual yeah. splits and everything. We'll get we'll get those to you soon. But um, here's the men's two IM. This is the last final. Got a couple of relays. If you guys want to sit and watch that. Um, no, I'm gonna get to work. I think yeah. after this. I, Let's get to work, everybody. Enough Up messing around. Time. All right, here you go. Who's in this? Oh, Carson Foster. Here we go, Carson. Yeah, your boy, huh? Come on. Come on. I'm putting money on Carson. Kieran Smith sneaking into lane eight, too. Yeah, you got the uh, Olympic gold medalist, uh, Shun Wang from China in here, mm. one one fifty three nine this morning. Uh, he's got a, he's um he's a good final swimmer. So watch out for him. We got the Greek freak in lane six, Andreas Vazeos from NC State. Diaceto, of course, who's been swimming with Coley recently, uh, doing a little 
American tour. Alberto Rossetti Spaghetti from Italy. He he just won the. Did he just won an event, or no? Who what? Who is the who Italian? The, uh, who won the two hundred the, the four hundred free? Um, was no, that was uh, Alba. Oh, oh, yeah, the Austrian guy. Yeah, uh, there was an Italian that just won an event. What event was that? Long morning. The two fly. It was a two, two fly. fly. Yeah, who won the two fly? It was yeah. Italian. It was this guy. It was this guy. It's it's Rossetti. So it is Rossetti. Yeah, oh, yeah. He exactly just went one forty nine out. Oh, he's doing a dirty double. Yeah, dude. Uh, watch out for that cat. He came home we're real fast. Doing little, we're doing a little uh, Florida special here on the Olympic Channel. Behind oh, yeah. the scenes, Kieran Smith. Kieran Smith. Yeah, you got an Israeli in this uh, heat too. Oh, and Duncan Scott. All right. Yeah, this uh, is a good field for this IM for sure. Someone just gave us some money. Did we just get money? A super sticker. It's a super Arena. Sticker. What's uh, what's a super sticker? We got we gave us four dollars and ninety cents in ruples. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> What's the South African dollar? South African dollar, the rand. Yeah, the rand. Maybe it's that's the rand. Is. South African. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of rand. If she gave you four dollars and ninety cents. Yeah, we could turn the power back on with that. No kidding. <laughs> you'll solve the budget problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, people got Seto. Uh, SB thinks Seto is going to win this one. Javier is looking at Carson Foster. Seto will be tough, but I'm I'm going Carson Foster, man. If it was oh. the 400 IM, I'd be uh, a little bit more on uh, Carson's side. Uh, this one's it's short, man. It's uh, it's a little shorter, but um, I'm not going to say he can't do it. We were just down there. He was doing things I've never seen anyone do in swim practice before. I think he even did a 2000 for time in 18 something. I mean, he's, uh, he's in great shape. Let me tell you. That Sates coming to Georgia, baby. Did you just figure that out? We talked about that. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just getting excited about this. Uh, I oh, know that's going to be pretty cool. That, that'll be cool. I, I mean, I'm pumped. Yeah, the kid from France that changes things at SEC uh, level too. That two IM is gonna be. That's uh that's first night too. That's a one of the first races, right? Five hundred free, fifty free, two IM. Two IM. Yep. Well, they actually put the eight hundred free relay on the Wednesday night now. So to say it's it's not really the first night anymore, but yes, it's the first full night of racing. Change the format a little bit. Yeah, that's him. Leon. Dan Herber's here. Gator fan in the audience. Got Karen Smith. Um, Karen fifth in that 400 freestyle this morning. Let's see. He was uh, out in 148, 5, 27.5, 27.7, 27.9, 26.8. Yeah, Karen's got to get that breaststroke. I think that's his, uh, that's his weak stroke. Well, I just want to see Carson Foster lay it out. Come on, man. Is he better at the four high M or is he... Carson? Yeah, I mean, he's world ranked number one in the 4 IM long course. So yeah. I would say he's probably a better 4 IM -er. right now. It could change. He can pull together a good 200, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get yeah. the sprinting chops out there. I think his backstroke's been um, his best stroke. Uh, Outside of freestyle, we know he's going to come home. He's going to come home really fast. His breaststroke has certainly improved. Um, 
not what his brother's breaststroke is. He's just a a better natural breaststroker, mm. brother Jake. Um, but yeah, I mean Carson can do it all, but his backstroke just when I saw him live, his backstroke just looked like it was it was his thing. Yeah, yeah it was beautiful. Yeah. It was on point. Did his brother swim at uh, Texas too? Yeah, they they both swim at Texas together. Yeah, yeah they're they're yeah. still there. Um, and Jake is continuing to improve. He, I think he just went three thirty nine or three forty wow. in the four am and one fifty two or one fifty three in the two hundred breaststroke. I Damn. mean, he's fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to the Mason. Yeah. Oh. Mason swim team, Ken Heisen, those guys. Uh, that's uh, where they came out of. They're about to open up a brand new pool, Mason Community Center. And they're going to have eight beautiful green pace clocks. All right, here's our boy Duncan Scott. I think he, I mean, I think Duncan's going to come and pull something. I don't think he'll win, but I think he'll do pretty well in this one. I'm going. I go to Duncan. Duncan. Yeah. I'm calling him for the W. You think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He killed it in the ISL just a couple oh, weeks true, ago. Oh, true, true. Uh, oh, Duncan for the W. Okay. He didn't have to try that hard to make a top eight. Yeah, yeah, you that's know? true. <laughs> I mean, he's Sato. a couple seconds off of what he won already, so. Sato, yeah. Sato looks good. I like that little uniform he's got. There's Carson. Javier, Sato, 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 Sato He did the bow to the block. I love that. Respect the block. Man, that is a cool jacket. Wow. Oh, this would be a good final. Yeah, this, is, this, is a, this is a cracker. Cracking final. Yeah, it's a good way to end the meet, uh, first mm -hmm. night of the meet. I like what they're doing with the, the black on the outside and like super light on the pool. I, yeah. I wish the ISL would do that more. It's too dark on the pool. I love the fact that the pool is lit up. 100% agree with you. ISL's pool is so dark, and this one is so lit up. It's awesome. That's Greg cool. Peters, you're also on point. We're not even giving any love to the uh, 200 IM Olympic champion. Yeah, wow. No love. Uh, and the bronze medalist in the previous Olympics. I mean, that guy, he's he's the best. We'll see. Here we go. Short course, boys. Short course. Here we go. Although, he's going out like a madman. Oh. I said he. It could be anyone. anyone. It could be anyone. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, it's a race. These boys want it. No one's holding back. I feel like in short course, too, the lead, like, depending on your strengths, you don't really change up that much. I mean, everyone's so close these days. You don't get much of a change in who's good at this or who's bad at that. You know, everyone's just very good at everything. Short course keeps it tight. Yeah. Sato, Sato, Sato's, yeah, an, Sato's animal. Backstroke Sato's an animal. Look at that turnover rate on that backstroke. Man. Sato is an animal. Yeah, he took off. Wow. Holy stickles, hey? Holy. Holy for the win. Come on. Carson's right there next to him, boy. He's Carson. coming. Yeah. Who's next to Carson on the so Israeli guy? Yeah. Israeli but I think Diaseto's got the best 50 breaststroke in the entire. Oh, Sato. Look, look at that. Just field. Russian people. Mm. I mean, no one's catching him. I don't care. Here comes uh, the Greek freak, Zeos. He's got a no. good breaststroke. No Excellent catching. pullouts. Sato all day. Oh, yeah. He's. he's Almost a full I don't, body. Yeah, I don't think they'll catch him. Oh, oh, Carson Foster wants a piece of the action, though. Carson Foster on, wants Carson. some action. Give me some action. We just come in at that last turn. Mm. Mm. Dang. Dang. Oh, wow. He's coming. Dang. The Italian got two. Oh, wow. my gosh. Dang, Carson. that was close. The freestyle looks so freaking good, boy. 51 1. What's the world record? 151 1. That's no, it's 149. Oh, God, that's dirty. Yeah, that was from uh, Turkey in 2012. 
Oh, I set to one fifty one one. I didn't even see Duncan Scott. Uh, he wasn't even in it. Wasn't even in it. Yeah, he was way back. When did Scott win the ISL championship? You know, I wonder. One fifty one something. Yeah. Duncan Scott one fifty four zero. That's uh, he's he's not uh he ain't feeling good. Oh, here we go. Uh, little Collie Stickles. Let me let me let me send send Collie a little text. send a little text yeah. message. Send All right, there Collie you go. Little. There are your uh, splits, there, guys. Yeah. Wow. Duncan Scott, not very good. Uh, Foster was coming at him too, wasn't he? Twenty six nine on the way home. Wow. Even Same the uh, Italian guy, yeah. Seto boy, that that fifty backstroke, he just was gone. Well, look at his breaststroke split. Too. Breaststroke thirty one nine. Italian guy too thirty one eight. Is that he? If Rosetti had a backstroke, he'd be he'd be in that. Yeah, or I don't I'm 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 surprised um Azeos was out so slow. I mean a second down to Seto at the first fifty and him and he was a good he was a he great two hundred flyer. Didn't he win the two hundred fly at NCAAs? He went sub one forty back in the day a few years ago. He had a great backstroke, 27-3, 32-2 on that breaststroke is great. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close, 151 for the first four spots. Good uh, race, Champion fifth, Karen Smith sixth. So, all right, well, oh, Dan Herber, here we go. Look at this, yes, 118 stroke rate in the backstroke from Diaceto. Nobody as the turnover rate that these Japanese swimmers do specifically in backstroke in the IM, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, let's be fair. He's five foot eight. Uh, you know, Duncan <laughs> Scott and Karen Smith is six, eight, you know, no is one's going to have small? his, turn. I mean, he's not that big. He's like maybe six foot, but he's not big. No, dude. It, it actually says arm. he's five foot nine. Five, nine. So that's what I mean. Like he doesn't have big, get, that extra inch. You get those things over pretty quick. Yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't hang your hat on the stroke rate of different people too much, but he's got some dirty underwaters. He was crushing people there for sure. Uh, they work on that a lot though. Even when we had uh, Kosuki Hagino, you know, he talked about how he did these sets, and the whole focus was super fast tempo, super fast tempo, super fast tempo in all four of his strokes. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, uh, are we out of here? Yeah, it's been fun, everybody. So. Uh, it's yeah. been cool. We made some money. Uh, we had a little fun. We got a, we got some breaking news. Matt Sates is uh, headed to Georgia January 10. Confirmed. He's in the NCA. Uh, I think it's been been pretty cool. We, we learned uh, there's a whole new language that I didn't even know about. I'm not even sure what it is, but there's about 30,000 people in the world that speak it uh -huh. uh, in Switzerland. Um, we learned. Uh, they turn the power off in South Africa every day. Yep. For, yeah, I mean, this has been five a, to six. This has been a remarkable show. We had a world record. Shaban Hahi, world record. Yeah, yeah, world freestyle. record. Oh, they were just showing Aliyah Atkinson's DQ. They said her, her feet came up in the, came out the of the finish. water at the end of the race. Yeah. Oh, in the finish. Okay. Oh. Oof. She had a full dolphin kick. She had already touched the wall, though. Had she? It looked like to me she did the dolphin kick into the wall and then came back like down and up going into the wall instead of just holding it down. Well, man, you you're a break, you're a break after, you, after the race is over? I mean, who knows these days? I don't even know. These things change so often. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. It might have just been a timing thing. She timed it wrong or uh, the official sword wrong. I don't know. Well, we'll uh, I'm sure we'll hear more about it. Yep. Um, uh, are we going? I mean, we'll we'll just well we're gonna play this going live thing by uh, ear here. Um, cool. Obviously, Saturday morning practices, whatever. We'll we'll hopefully we'll be back here nine o'clock. Um, yeah. I mean, if they keep putting it on the Olympic Channel, and why not? We'll jump on, and I'll I'll pull some people in. You know. Yeah. We'll just get them in. I mean, Matt Sates turned up with about uh, two minutes warning, so that was cool. Yeah. You know, we'll just have fun with this again. 
All right. Uh, find that 50 meter pool. Enter the 50 kick challenge. You got two weeks left. See you guys later. Peace. Bye.